So the Emirates Dubai World Cup is next in, another Group 1 race. And a mile and a quarter this time. And wait for a list of the runners. Four year olds upwards, always dreaming. Dan Hughes at the top. Alessandro Duff or James Shea. Andrat for Darren Thompson. In Costa about John Morgan. Mystic Lakely on Van Rensburg. Sketchy Poos for Steve Ryan. Real Deal. Django, Steve Randall, Steve Ryan, Calusa Bay, Martin Cairns, Arctic Snow for Hems and Dame Zenyatta for Paul Rhodes. So 10 then. Good number of the dirt track on here. Let's see them in the stores. I fly past them and I'm going to go around again. No. All in then. And away we go. With Antrax. Out nicely. And it's in Costa about, or I think it's going to be the leader, or maybe Calusa Bay. So Calusa Bay is pulling for its head and is getting over to the fence and is in the lead. From Mystic Lake and in Costa about, then always dreaming, looking towards the back. It's Sketchy Poops or Sketchy Pouse. I'll say that one. Calusa Bay, though, is the leader. Um, Dame Zenyatta is a little bit wide on the track. And then Costa about is in third. Mystic Lake is fourth and always dreaming. And Alessandro Dirt after that one. Arctic Snowfall, real deal. And Andrat and Sketchy Poops at the back. There's Calusa Bay. Leading by about two. And Dame Zenyatta in second. And the lead for Calusa Bay is uncontested at the moment as they pass the six furlong pole. Dame Zenyatta and Mystic Lake. Mystic Lake wants to emulate the stable companion from the last race and take a group one in impressive fashion. Or can somebody steal the crown from Leon and Ren's work for a race or two? But it's Calusa Bay in the lead. And Costa about his second. Mystic Lake third. Arctic Snowfall is fourth. And Dame Zenyatta and Alessandro Dutt. De Real deals making a bit of a forward move, but he's going wide on the track and giving away grand. Calusa Bay just being scrubbed along in front as they come down towards the three furlong pole. And it's Calusa Bay in the lead from Mystic Lake in second. Arctic Snowfall running a big race in third. Also now trying to come through there. He's always dreaming. He's going to try and get a dream split, I think. And might just about manage it as well. But it's Calusa Bay in the lead. Always dreaming. He's in second. Then Mystic Lake is third. In Costa about his four. Races on in as they hit the furlong and a half mark. And suddenly always dreaming has gone into the lead. It's always dreaming. He's got about a net clear. Always dreaming in the lead from Calusa Bay. Right on the wide outside and tracks. He's trying to make a run through as well, but it's half a furlong to go. It's always dreaming. It looks like he won't hold on here. Always dreaming. Racing up towards the line. Is this going to be one for always dreaming? Up towards the line. Always dreaming. Takes him in the fast finishing down. San Yadra and then and tracks on Mystic Lake and Alexandro Gert after that one. And Calusa Bay was last. And I think a oh, new member of the commentary team, Mark Weller, just picked himself up a grade one win. And looks like there might be a new name on the commentator's cup this season. It's always dreaming. Let's take it. I'm pretty sure that's going to be Nick Driver. It's not. It's Dan Hughes. Oh, sorry about that, Dan Hughes. It's very similar colours to Nick Driver. And that, I think, is a new trainer. So you're in a group one in your very first week. That's pretty impressive stuff. Dame Zaniata second for Paul Rhodes. Antrax for Darren Thompson third. Mystic Lately on Van Rensburg fourth. And Alessandro De for James Shea was fifth.